Hello everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds. As you may be able to tell from the scruff and the awkward hat tan that I have going on here, I am on vacation from work right now and I have actually been in the bush for the last couple weeks. So I am home now and just getting caught up on all of my unboxings. It's kind of rare that I get a bunch of boxes to work with at the exact same time. Because I was gone, um, they arrived and they've been sitting on my counter until I got home. So I have the opportunity now to do a very special unboxing. I'm going to compare the Lucky Tackle Box Walleye XL to the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Walleye Species Specific Box. LuckyTackleBox.com, MysteryTackleBox.com if you want to check either of them out. It's pretty rare that I get to sit and unbox two boxes on the same day. Um, it should be really, really interesting. I'm looking forward to compare these. It's the same species. They're both walleye boxes. They're both pretty close to the same cost. They're both supposed to have roughly the same amount of lures and quality and all that fun stuff. So it's going to be a really good comparison. Let's dive right in. Let's open them up. Let's see what we got and uh, see which box reigns supreme out of these two boxes. It, this might be a little bit of a longer video because I'm opening two boxes rather than one. If you want to skip the opening and the discussing of the lures, you can go to this timestamp down here and skip right to the conclusion and the final thoughts on the boxes and see uh, which came out on top as far as that goes. Otherwise, sit down, get comfy, let's open these up. Uh, in no particular preference, I'm just going to go ahead and open the Lucky Taco Box one first. While I'm doing that, don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook. If you're not already, you really should be. Uh, Facebook.com slash True North Wilds. On Instagram, at True North Wilds. And of course, our blog site, truenorthwilds.com. All right, so. <clears throat> Lucky Taco Box. First up. The Walleye XL. It looks like it's got a decent amount of stuff in here. So first up we have the Spectra series bait um, from Northern Lights Lure Company. The color changing bait. Get hooked on change. I like that slogan. That's a clever slogan. I'm going to open this up here. Uh, it is a four and a half inch lure. Dive depth of two feet. So it's a very shallow dive, which is useful for walleye in the spring. Usually a little bit earlier spring uh, than right now that you would want to have that really shallow dive depth, but still appropriate. Um, hooked onto the box here, if I can get this out of here. Okay, so I finally got that off the packaging. Um, it's a decent looking lure. That shallow dive depth, you can see the shallow bill. It's a fairly steep angle, but you can see it's a very narrow bill. Color on this is decent. I'm not sure what it's supposed to change to. Uh, it starts when the water is warmer, it will appear as shown above. So it's supposed to start off. So this package isn't very useful. Pet peeve of mine. I wish more companies would put proper information on the package. Because uh, on the package, on the picture here, it shows three pictures there. It shows when the water is warm and then as the water warms up, or uh, cools down rather, and then as the water is cooler. But the color that they show on the picture here, the starting color is completely different than the color of this lure. So who knows? Who knows what this is supposed to change to? Either way, um, yeah, my breath is not warm enough or cool enough. To cause any changes so I have no idea what it's supposed to change to but anyway looking at the color as it is it's a nice gold color nice red belly I mean it's a good standard sort of color uh, nothing wrong with that it's got a fairly substantial rattle in there um, very substantial rattle and you know that two foot two foot shallow dive depth is appropriate for Wally so not a bad bait don't know about the color changing thing I really can't comment on that might be kind of gimmicky, might not, it might actually work. Hard to say. Uh, but just looking at it as it is, decent enough lure. Next up, we have the Mimic Minnow Baitfish image from Northland Fishing Tackle. Northland, 
well-known lure company around here. Uh, they're very popular. They're a very uh, popular walleye lure company. They make all kinds of neat lures. These are some jigs with swim, swim bait style plastics, uh, sort of pre-rigged. It's basically a pre-rigged jig in plastic. And you can see here, I can pull the plastic right off. Uh, it's a jig head. It's a nice fish head shape. And it comes pre-rigged on this plastic with a nice paddle tail on it. Nice perch color with an orange paddle tail. Really nice plastic. Jig and plastic is a go-to walleye lure around here. So absolutely nothing wrong with that. Northland Tackle makes really nice stuff. This is a really nice color. Two to the package. Good weight for the jig head. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Appropriate walleye lure. Next up, we have the Bait Rigs Tackle Company, Bait Rigs Tackle, uh, Lure Dynasty. So this is a sinking, looks like a blade bait. Let's open this up. Let's take a look at this. All right, so another package that was really tightly closed. Uh, so this is a nice looking blade bait. It's got this nice feather on the back hook with a little bit of holographic foil in there, just very subtle, but it's a nice effect. The color of the blade bait itself is green. And it's got the perch sort of stripes on there, nice red eyes. All in all, it's a really nice blade bait. I like using blade baits. They're really good for walleye in cold water. So early spring uh, is, is a perfect time to use these. You cast them out, you rip them up, and then that thin blade catches the water, it vibrates it, and you let it flutter down. You rip it up, you let it flutter down. And quite often the walleye will hit it just as it's fluttering down towards the bottom. Blade baits are a lot of fun to use. Absolutely nothing wrong. This looks like a good quality blade bait. I'm happy to get that. A very appropriate walleye lure for sure. So we got some Mustad um, size two slow death hooks. These are really cool hooks. Uh, it's normal to get tackle in the box, like terminal tackle, like hooks and such. Um, this in particular, these slow death Mustad hooks, they're made for night crawlers. Um, it even says on the package here somewhere, something about night crawlers. Uh, I just know from experience, these are made for night crawlers. You hook your night crawler on and it keeps it on and it it keeps it on in a way that it gives the night crawler a really nice lifelike action. I mean, it's a live night crawler, so it's lifelike anyway, but this presents it in a way that it um, keeps that lifelike action, even if your night crawler is dying or dead already. Um, so definitely a very, very appropriate walleye um, hook. So it's nice that they include a very appropriate walleye hook uh, instead of just a standard wide gap or any or some other you know basic terminal tackle even the terminal tackle in this box is geared towards walleye so that is nice to see <laughs> another package of hooks so here's maybe a little bit of a misstep from lucky toggle box two packages of hooks i mean i'm not complaining it's nice to get lots of extra hooks i just hope that this wasn't put in here to replace an actual lure you kind of expect to get one package of terminal tackle in a box. It's it's sort of a filler item that you, you kind of get in every box. You get some terminal tackle. To get two of them, if it's supposed to replace an actual lure, that's a little bit concerning. If it's just a mistake and I just happen to get an extra package, then, hey, nothing wrong with that. So we got some plastics. This is a company that I am not familiar with yet, so I like getting new stuff. This is from Southern Pro Tackle, uh, a company, like I said, I haven't heard of. So this is the Southern Pro Big Pack Crappy Lures. However, at first I read that and I'm a little bit alarmed that I'm getting panfish baits, but these are definitely not panfish baits. I mean, they, they might work as panfish baits as well, but these are two and a half inch walleye shad. It's a 15 pack, but these look like an actual decent uh, size plastic. So I'm gonna open this up here. I'm gonna show you an actual plastic. So it's a little on the short side, but it's also got a wide body. It's a very beefy looking body. This absolutely will work as a walleye lure. It's got the really, really nice bait fish pattern. It's got the dark top, you know, the, the black top. It's got the clear plastic bottom of the body. It's got all this nice silver sparkle. It's got this little bitty paddle tail, giving it just that little bit of action. Um, all in all, you throw this on a jig and you cast it, or you or you jig it, and uh, this will be a really nice walleye plastic. They love this bait fish pattern, this minnow sort of pattern. 
you know, it mimics a minnow or a shiner with the dark top and the flashy silver body. Um, so nothing wrong with this. It says crappy plastic on the package, but then the model name is walleye shad. So I think it's actually a walleye lure. Either way, this will work as, this will work as a walleye lure and it's definitely an appropriate plastic to get for walleye. So that is a nice lure to get. And as a bonus, it's a 15 pack. That is a huge pack of plastics. Smart baits, I'm very familiar with these. I get these in a lot of my subscription boxes. Almost every month I get some sort of smart baits. They just seem to be a very popular plastic for subscription boxes for some reason. Not that there's anything wrong with that. They are a nice plastic. This is the Mighty Minnow. Doesn't have a color name for it, but Mighty Minnow. And I've gotten plenty of these before. They got a nice long fork tail. Gives lots of good action in the water. Just a nice minnow shape. This one in particular is sort of a natural brown, earthworm sort of brown color. It's got black flecks in it. Not really anything for scent there, so uh, nothing. It's hard to tell. It smells like there might be some scent there or it might just be the plastic I'm smelling. It's hard to say. But all in all, the smart baits thing is color changing. Uh, and I've always found that very gimmicky, but I found the plastics themselves to be very good quality. So I ignore the color changing thing and I just use them for the plastics and the action that they get on the tail and the colors that they come in the package. And I have success on them. They're good plastic. So nothing wrong with that. That is an appropriate walleye lure. I'm happy to get that. So last in the box, but certainly not least, the Bass Attacker uh, infused with bass fuel. It doesn't have a model name or anything like that, but it's a nice big sort of a power worm style. Um, it's got a scent to it. You can smell that bass fuel. Uh, it's a, you know, they call it a bass attacker, bass fuel, uh, bass lure. Worms, you know, if you think of Senko worms and stuff, that's typically a bass lure. But this style of worm, this sort of a power worm style, this can definitely be a walleye lure. I have, I've had really good success um, with walleye on this style of worm. Nice, long, skinny, lots of action in the water when you're casting and retrieving or when you're just letting it jig. And this color in particular, this green color is fine, but what really sets this off and sets the walleye off on this color is the red sparkles. The walleye around here, they absolutely love these bright red sparkles. So that is a fantastic color. This is just a really nice combination of colors in here, the green plus the red. It's got a little bit of black specks in there as well, just all around a really nice lure. You can see when this wiggles around in the water. I mean, this you think of how popular night crawlers are for catching walleye, this, that's what this is simulating. And they do a really good job, this style of worm, of simulating that night crawler and really bringing in some big walleye. So I'm definitely happy to get that. I will use that for walleye for sure. That's it for the Lucky Tackle Box. That's everything in the Lucky Tackle Box. Just the paper, no stickers, no magazine or anything like that with Lucky Tackle Box. They keep it pretty simple. All in all, I gotta say, that is actually one of the best walleye Lucky Tackle Box boxes that I have gotten so far. I'm really happy with how appropriate all the lures are in this Lucky Tackle Box. The plastics are really good, walleye appropriate, the Northland tackle, the jig and plastic uh, pre-setup, really good. It's a popular lure around here, that Northland tackle stuff. The crankbait, the uh, the shallow diver, I mean, it's it's appropriate. It's a little bit, getting a little bit late for that. For It would have been nice to have maybe a little bit of a deeper diver than the two feet, but it's still an appropriate walleye lure for the early spring. The blade bait's nice. I mean, all in all, really good walleye box. I got to say, I'm impressed. Um... Like I said, it's one of the best, if not the best, Lucky Tackle Box walleye boxes that I've gotten so far. Pretty good for Lucky Tackle Box that that's the box to represent them when I'm comparing to the Mystery Tackle Box. So let's take a look now at the Mystery Tackle Box, see how it stands up. I've had really good success with Mystery Tackle Box's walleye boxes. Let's see if this one holds up to one of the best um, Lucky Tackle Box ones that I've gotten so far. All right. Opening up the Mystery Tackle Box Pro. So we got a bunch of Dibble Digest, what's in the box card, sticker, all the usual stuff, uh, which doesn't really concern us for this comparison. The box is looking a little bit light. This might be 
This might be a challenge for Mr. Tacklebox. Um, let's take a look and see what we got here. So first off, Trapper treble hooks. So some terminal tackle, some treble hooks. Uh, not anything special. I mean, treble hooks are treble hooks. It's nice to get terminal tackle. I actually like these trapper treble hooks. These uh, there's there's very squared off um, hook, and they do keep the bait on very well. Uh, I've actually used these ice fishing with a lot of success, so nothing wrong with that. It's it's a treble hook. It's terminal tackle. It's nice to get. Uh, we have some stickies, stickies, finely crafted hooks. Uh, it's a little envelope with, what do we got here? We got, well, it's a lot of hooks in here. So this is, okay. So this is some wacky rig and drop shot hooks. Looking at the shape of them, it's more, more of a wacky rig than a drop shot hook. It's uh, sort of a J shape. Wacky rigs, that's a bass, that's a bass technique. It's not a walleye technique. You would never, you would never wacky rig for bass, um, period, uh, around here anyway. Maybe you do uh, elsewhere. If you do, let me know. I'm curious to know where that would work. Um, so that's a bit of a miss, unfortunately. And again, that's the second pack of hooks in here. So just like the Lucky Taco Box there, uh, that's two packages of hooks now, which is, Uncommon. I don't get that a lot in any boxes where I get multiple packs of terminal tackle. So it might just might just be a weird month for that. Anyway, moving on, we have the Lunker Hunt Kraken HB series. The Kraken. Unleash the Kraken. Uh, so this is a lipless crankbait. It is a half ounce weight, it's two and a half inch length, and it is a really nice color. I'll show you here if I can get it open. So this is a lipless crank that is a nice blue, silver, and black sort of pattern. Really, really nice pattern on it. Really nice finish. I mean, these these lunker hunts. These anytime you get a lunker hunt in a subscription box, they're all of their series. There's the Kraken series. There's the Impact series. There's all these different series um, that they put out, and they're all really, really nicely finished. They just feel nice. They feel they feel solid. The colors are all really nice. This is no exception. It's got a bit of a high-pitched rattle, a nice small ball bearing in there. So nothing wrong with that. I mean, again, the color is fantastic. Lipless crankbaits are always good. In spring, when the water's a little bit colder, all through the summer, when the walleye are down deep and you want to let this sink all the way to the bottom, let it sink, let it flutter down, rip it right up. As it goes up, it vibrates and it rattles as it's fluttering right down. A lot of times they'll come just like a blade bait. They'll hit it on the way down as it's nearing the bottom. You can't go wrong with a good lipless bait. And it's a good multi-species lure. This works well for walleye, works well for bass, it works well for pike. Pretty much anything I would go fishing for, I can catch on a lipless crank. So I'm always happy to get these. We got some plastics. Surprise, surprise, it's smart baits. Uh, like I said, smart baits is extremely popular on uh, subscription boxes for whatever reason. It doesn't say what the model is, if it's a Mighty Minnow or whatever other names they have for their plastics. It's got a nice paddle tail on it. It doesn't have the fork tail. It's still got the minnow shape. It's got a little bit of a texture on it. It's got a really, really nice color. I don't know what the color change is supposed to be. Again, I don't usually concern myself with that. I find it gimmicky. I like the plastics for the plastics. It feels good and beefy. Smells again, it smells like it might have a bit of a scent or it might just be a strong plastic scent. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't say anything on the package, um, but really nice color. Nice blue red color and it's got some sparkle in there. It's actually got a lot of sparkle. It's got some black specks in there with the sparkle, with the blue, with the red. It's just all around really nice combination of colors and a really nice beefy plastic. So nothing wrong with that. That will absolutely work for walleye. Moving on to the hard baits, we have the Reaction Strike Ranger. Uh, this is from Reaction Strike Lures. It is the Ghost Bluegill color, made in China. Crankbait uh, dives two to four feet. So two to four feet, that's a really good dive depth for the spring, for spring walleye. Uh, absolutely the appropriate depth. It's a short crankbait, but still a good size, you know, Anything around that 
two inches plus is what you want for walleye. Um, especially in the early spring where they might be a little bit sensitive after just spawning. This is a really nice color. I love the splash of blue on it. I love that little splash of blue right at the front. And then it's got this sort of gold perch pattern. It's got the gold color. It's got the perch sort of stripes. Or I guess it's a bluegill. Ghost bluegill is what the name is. Um, I don't know what a bluegill looks like, to be honest. So I always call these uh, stripes a perch stripe. But anyway, it's a really nice color is what I'm getting at. It's got a thumping rattle in there. So it's small, but it's got a big noise to it. Dives to the right depth. Really nice color. I think this will definitely attract some spring walleye for sure. Next up, we have the Excite Baits XB5. So this is a crankbait that dives two to five feet. So similar to the last one, two to five feet. It's two and three quarter inches. It's a half ounce. The color is Copper Green Shad. Copper Green Shad doesn't have a model name on it. Or, do, or yeah, I guess the XB5 is the model. Uh, so again, perfect dive depth for spring walleye, two to five feet. That gives you that really nice range. This has a really interesting color pattern on it. You can just barely see the copper diamond pattern along the top if you look close and if you reflect it in the light. Otherwise, the rest of the body is this sort of dull olive color fading into white. It's got a really dark back. It's got nice red eyes. It's got, again, a big thumping rattle. So even though it's on the smaller side for a bait, it's a smaller lure that's going to make a big noise in the water. With this color pattern on it, in some nice clear water, this is going to look really, really good. The sun flashes off that copper diamond pattern. I guarantee this is going to be a hit for the walleye. I'm looking forward to giving this a try. One thing that I do notice right off the bat, this may be by design. I don't know for sure until I put it in the water and test it. But when you're looking straight on and you're looking at the dive bill, it's slightly crooked. So I'm going to have to reserve judgment until I put it in the water and see how it affects the action. And that might be by design to give it a certain shimmy or not. But it's definitely noticeable just by looking at it. So maybe an area of concern, maybe not. We'll see. Either way, a really nice lure. Everything about this is appropriate for walleye. Last up from Carl's Amazing Baits. So this is the Mystery Tackle Box uh, tackle company that they have. Uh, this is the Hunch. <laughs> the hunch it uh, the color is og sexy it's a three inch crankbait dives zero to four feet so a bit on the shallow side and you still get up to that four feet but uh, that zero to four feet means it's a little bit on the shallow side you're probably going to average usually you average in the middle of the range uh, so you might average two feet it really depends how you retrieve it but either way it's uh, that original sexy shad sort of color pattern. It's got the blue top with that hex sort of pattern. It's got the nice yellow stripe along the side. The, the, the uh, gray or black dot just behind the gills. Rattling as well. Not the deep thumping rattle that the last couple have had, but sort of a medium frequency rattle there. It's very tight. You can feel like it's very tight in the chamber. The ball doesn't have a lot of room to move. So it's just a very tight little rattle and just gives that little subtle effect, which is kind of nice to see. It's a bright lure, right? You got the bright white and you got the yellow and the light blue. So this is something that is going to give off a presence just by virtue of its color. So you don't need necessarily a big thumping rattle, but that medium sort of subtle rattle in there, in addition to the bright colors, makes for a really nice combination on a lure like this. Um, the waters around here, this should work pretty good. Should be very appropriate for walleye. The dive depth might be an issue. They might be a little bit deeper than what this is going to dive to on average. Um, but this will be a good multi-species lure, actually. This will be good for smallmouth bass coming up. Pike always go after this color combination. Uh, I mean, pike go after an old shoe if you try. Um, but it's a good it's a good color combination for pike. And uh, it is generally a good color combination for walleye. The only concern is that dive depth. I would have liked to see maybe like a 2 to 5 or a 2 to 4 or something that's going to give it more of a lower average rather than the 0 to 4. But that's a minor quibble. Very, very minor quibble for this lure. Overall, it looks like a really nice lure. So that's it for the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box for the May Walleye Box. For this box, I have to say my favorite lure is the Lipless Crankbait. 
I really love this blue and silver pattern on here. I love Volipo's crankbaits in general. It's got a really nice high-pitched rattle to it to go along with that shimmy and shake that a, a lipless crank gives you. All around, just a really nice lure. Overall, generally an appropriate box for walleye. It's, it's kind of a weird month. Uh, Lucky Tackle Box, that is one that I wasn't expecting to be as good as it was. That was, as I mentioned before, that was one of the best, if not the best, Lucky Tackle Box walleye boxes that I have gotten. Whereas the Mystery Tackle Box Walleye Pro, uh, this is one of the weaker boxes, I feel, that I've gotten from Mystery Tackle Box. So this is a hard comparison for me. Uh, I have to draw my conclusions based on these two boxes, but just given the past history, I was expecting Mystery Tackle Box to do better. I got a few lures in here that more of a multi-species lure, less of a specifically walleye lure. Um, the wacky rig hooks in particular, that's just not, that's nothing that I will use for walleye at all. So that's definitely a miss. The treble hooks, yeah, you know, they're, they're treble hooks. They're not useless, but they're not specifically a walleye hook either. Um, whereas Lucky Taco Box gave me the slow death uh, nightcrawler hooks, and that is definitely a walleye hook. You're specifically going to use that for walleye, so um, points go to Lucky Taco Box for that. The There's more hard baits in the Mystery Taco Box Pro, for sure, so that, you know, points to Mystery Taco Box for that. It is nice to get the more um, hard baits in that regard, but they're not necessarily great walleye lures. They're more of just general hard baits. They're just general multi-species lures. The lipless crankbait in particular is definitely a good walleye lure. It's something I'll use for sure, but it, you get lipless crankbaits also in bass specific boxes uh, and pike boxes and stuff. So it's not, again, it's not a specifically walleye lure, even though it will work well for walleye. So in this comparison, I got to give it to Lucky Tackle Box. Uh, if I'm being honest, Prior history, I would not have guessed that these guys would pull out a great box like this. Uh, if I'm being perfectly honest, I expected to do this comparison and really endorse the Mystery Tackle Box Pro. But this was one of the weaker walleye boxes for Mystery Tackle Box. And it was one of the strongest boxes um, for walleye for Lucky Tackle Box. So in, as far as this comparison goes, I'm going to have to give it to Lucky Tackle Box. Lucky Tackle Box walleye xl from the month of may is the clear winner in this in this uh comparison video every lure was walleye appropriate there was walleye specific lures rather than just a bunch of multi-species lures really nice to see lots of lures i got eight total items in the lucky tackle box compared to the seven total items in the mr tackle box pro so all in all great box by lucky tackle box hope that comparison was useful let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know what you think of the box versus the box. Let me know what you guys are getting and your prior history with either Mr. Tackle Box or Lucky Tackle Box. And uh, going forward, what you're going to continue to get and how you think, uh, how you think we should treat these uh, going forward. Should I continue with my Lucky Tackle Box based on the strength of this box? Uh, should I do more comparisons in the future? Would you guys like to see more head versus head? Maybe a Bass Box versus a Bass Box, Mystery Tackle Box versus RLM, RLM versus Lucky Tackle Box, anything like that. If you guys have suggestions or ideas of what you would like to see as far as boxes go, instead of just opening each box on its own, I am more than willing to start doing comparisons or start doing multiple box openings in the same video. Uh, I just, I'm not really sure how to go about it and I just, uh, I'd like to know what you guys want to see. So leave a comment down below. Let me know. It helps me a lot. I always try and reply to any feedback. If you're not already, don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash True North Wilds, on Instagram at True North Wilds, and of course our blog site, truenorthwilds.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down there while you're also leaving a comment. And until next time, I will see you outside.